It looks like U.S. Navy H-60 Seahawk helicopters have just entered the Iranian proxy war currently going on in the waters around the Arabian Peninsula. U.S. Central Command just tweeted the following. On December 31st, it's 6.30 a.m. Sana'a time. The container ship Maersk Hangzhou issued a second distress call in less than 24 hours, reporting being under attack by four Iranian-backed Houthi small boats. The small boats, originating from Houthi-controlled areas in Yemen, fired crew-served and small arms weapons at Maersk Hangzhou, getting to within 20 meters of the vessel, and attempted to board the vessel. A contract embarked security team on the Maersk Hangzhou returned fire. U.S. helicopters from the USS Eisenhower and Gravely responded to the distress calls, and in the process of issuing verbal calls to the small boats, the small boats fired upon the U.S. helicopters with crew-served weapons and small arms. The U.S. Navy helicopters returned fire in self-defense, sinking three of the four small boats and killing the crews. The fourth boat fled the area. There was no damage to U.S. personnel or equipment. The CENTCOM tweet doesn't identify which H-60 squadrons were involved in the sinking of the Houthi boats, but among the mix of them was likely several from HSC-7, the Dusty Dogs, the helicopter squadron attached to Carrier Air Wing 3 aboard the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. HSC-7 flies the Sierra model of the Seahawk, and the weapon of choice in this scenario was probably the 50 caliber machine gun mounted on the starboard side of the aircraft and operated by the crew chief. At the NAS Oceana Air Show a couple of months ago, I had a chance to talk to a couple of the commanding officers from H-60 squadrons, and here's how one of them, Commander Chris Donkey Lewis, summarized the inherent flexibility of the Seahawk. One of the things that helicopters bring to bear more than uh, almost any platform, I would argue, is the flexibility to do a lot of different things. Uh, whether that's the plane guard mission that you mentioned, whether it's search and rescue, medical evacuations, uh, external loads, the you know the, the CLF that I mentioned, the combat logistics force, CSAR, what's now called PR, the combat search and rescue, the SEALs and that kind of thing. I mean, you name it, we can reconfigure the aircraft, the anti-surface warfare with crew serve weapons, forward firing weapons, Hellfire missile. I think I hit them all, but um, yeah, there's it's, there, a there, list, it's yeah. a long list. We do a lot of different things, and and we're ready to within a couple of hours we can you know flex the mission there and flight if we need to, if we're physically able to, and then if we can need to adjust the aircraft a little bit, we come back, rearm, refuel, and do it again. I put the link to that episode in the description below if you want to learn more about the Seahawk, an amazing aircraft that's serving the fleet well in a bunch of ways these days, including taking out Houthi bad guys in boats. More on this obviously volatile situation as the information becomes available, so if you're not already a subscriber, become one so you don't miss anything going forward. And in the meantime, I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Thank <laughs> you.